Earth-changing events often begin in silence. This time was no different. A cruel war was raging throughout the world, while Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta were grazing their sheep as usual near a little Portuguese village. A lady in resplendent light appeared to them, saying that she had come from heaven. She asked them to pray faithfully and say the rosary for the peace in the world. She warned that if people did not stop offending God, an even more terrible second war would follow. A multitude of pilgrims began coming to Fatima. During one of the following apparitions, the Mother of God asked for Russia to be consecrated to her immaculate heart. If not, Russia would spread its errors throughout the world and wars, suffering, persecution of the church and of the Holy Father would follow. The Russian Revolution followed soon after. Nazi rule began in Germany and the world was engulfed by yet another war. Few understood the link between these tragic events and human sinfulness, the link about which the Mother of God had warned the world and the reparations necessary in order to prevent them. This link, however, was clear to Varen Fried von Staten, a Norbentine Dutch monk, moved by the Fatima apparitions and the call to mercy that followed from them. He persuaded European nations to help a broken German population. Those who up until recently had occupied much of Europe now lay in defeat, suffering devastating hunger and poverty. This love for neighbor and call for reconciliation lay at the roots of aid to the Church in Needs Foundation. In this aftermath, the communists too were sowing death and terror behind the Iron Curtain, resulting in the annihilation of over 60 million people. Their road to complete victory was blocked only by their population's faith in a power greater than evil. And so the communists declared a total war on God. Driven by this suffering of the people of God, aid to the church in need began to support the church in the East. Father Varenfried knew that this wasn't only about Russia. He warned that the ideology of atheism and unbridled freedom would lead to enslavement. Recognizing the prophetic message of Fatima, Father Varenfried consecrated his work to Our Lady of Fatima. Today, aid to the church in need, a pontifical foundation, continues its service to Christians around the world through information, prayer, and action. Wherever they are persecuted or oppressed or suffering material need, the charity supports projects around the world. Thanks to private donations from people who also believe in the power of love and mercy and in the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It all began on a certain afternoon when three small children saw the Mother of God and believed her in silence.